welcome to Central Live. Our next edition is on Thursday, the 8th of November, 2018 at 11 a.m. prompt. We are going this time to the School of Pharmacy. We'll be having a chat with the Dean of the School, Professor Akwesi Adumaku Ohemin. We want to find out a bit about some of his research work and also get to know a bit more about the School of Pharmacy, the programs available and the prospects to students who may be interested. So join me live on Facebook on Thursday at 11 a.m. prompt. See you. training in pharmacy in Ghana was more focused on the drugs, okay. production, quality, and other things. And it was drug, 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 drug. Mm -hmm. But after a while, in the developed world, especially in the US, they find that the training should be more focused on the patient. Okay. It should be more patient-oriented. So the difference between the two programs is that the doctor of pharmacy uh, focus more on patients. Why the first part of a B farm was mainly on drugs. That is the main, the simple, the simplest uh, uh, difference between the two. Okay. Yeah. And if you want more details, you can read more about it. But one is six years, 
because there's quite a lot that the uh, uh, students have to spend in the hospitals with the patients, get to know the patients and how they are interacting with drugs and other things. So okay. that's about the limit of uh, one is six years and one is four years. Okay. So the doctor of not is four years. No, it's six Sorry, years. the doctor is six years and yes. then the beef farm is four years. Four years. Okay. So the natural question or the logical is can I switch or can I top up to do the doctor or do I have to start all over? Assuming I finish one the yeah. I finish I'm and I want to do the doctor. Well, yeah, yes, about uh, setting up for the top up program. Okay. For those people who have their first degree in uh, pharmacy, B okay. farm, it will probably be about two to three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it will be mainly clinical and you know, okay. hospital rotations and other things for those who have graduated already. Okay. Those kids who are in the program now, we try to discourage them from moving okay. from the B farm to the uh, the farm D. The farm D. Okay. Um, I think that initially we were afraid that some of the classes would become empty. Mm -hmm. Like especially those who are in the second year now. Okay. Almost the whole class wanted to move to do the farm D. Okay. So I have to sit them down and explain the differences and the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay. And for them to go ahead and finish. So that when they are done, they can get yeah. into the top up. Okay. 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 Wonderful. This has played a lot of questions. I've met people. Uh, when I was at admission session, we were really concerned that so what happens to our family? We want to be doctors, so I'm very happy you have thrown more light on this yeah. for us. Thank you. And mm -hmm. um, I know that the School of Pharmacy is one of the largest, or if not the largest, within the private university space in Ghana at the moment. Is that the case? Yeah, that's the case. The private universities, we are the largest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, um, if somebody wants to come, because right now I know um, the NOVDEC results will be released very soon. WASI and all levels people who may want to come to read pharmacy in Central yeah. University. What would be the basic requirement for such? Well, I think the core subjects are uh, they should try not to get anything beyond uh, what is it? Uh, C6. C yeah, C6. Okay. And the uh, aggregate probably be looking at for about 19 okay. or 20. Okay. Yeah. Except in special cases where you've got one grade way out, maybe say up to six, mm. and it's taking them to 22 or 21, you consider. Okay. Yeah. But I have to stress that in our new program, the students will be allowed to continue to their second year, okay. and going to third year, there will be a major test, and those who don't make it will be allowed, will be asked to drop out from the program. Oh, okay. So you can come in for a little bit weak grade, but you have to work very hard okay. so that you won't be left out of by the third year. Okay. Wow, well, that's, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And also encouraging <laughs> for those who are still looking up to come to Central University. That's mm -hmm. good. So Prof, um, I also want us to talk a little bit about your personal research work. In the very recent, I think a couple of weeks, you've seen a lot of articles and publications mm -hmm. and uh, even interviews you've granted about your you leading a team of scientists yeah. to discover a, a drug, an antibiotic. Yeah. We want you to tell us a bit about this one as well. Okay. Well, <coughs> I've been in the area for over 25 years now. Oh, wow. And uh, within my first five years, I was, I've been lucky. You know, this type of research, the success rate is about 3%. Wow. Okay. I've been lucky within the first five years. We came out, I was in a group, we came out with a drug for the treatment of pneumocystis carinae pneumonia for AIDS patients. Okay. It went all the way to phase three and it died. Mm. So the year 2001, I joined a group in uh, Boston, Massachusetts to come out with a drug. You know, there's been a lot of problems with resistance. Mm. Most of the drugs on the market that only are developing resistance and we are scared. In fact, there was a scare article in the BBC yesterday, that a lot of people are going to die by the year um, 2025 to 2030 due to resistant mechanisms. So the tetracyclines were being used quite early, about 70 years ago, and they suddenly developed resistance, about eight of them. So my group decided that we must find an analog which can overcome the resistant problem. Uh, we worked on it from the year 2001 up to this year before it has entered the market. Wow. Uh, we pick out two drugs, one for the treatment of acne, okay. cyclin, and omadacycline. Okay. 
Monocycling is very effective against most of the resistant organisms which are not being able to treat with the old tetracyclines. Right? So um, it's a very big achievement. Mm -hmm. And in particular, the strategies that we utilize, we realize that other classes of compounds which have developed resistance, we could utilize the same uh, strategies to come up with analogs which may overcome the problem of, of resistance. At first we were worried mm -hmm. because drug upon drug, drug upon drug is developing resistance. And we did, then the pipeline also for new antibiotics was very very small. Mm -hmm. But now with this process, I think the younger ones and <coughs> other research group can use the same method to come out with new drugs. Wow. Congratulations is in is not that <laughs> Okay. So, so the new, the newest in the chain is the Omada cycle, Omada cycle. and it's now coming to the market. It's already in the market. It will be on the market in January one, twenty nineteen. Wow, wow, wow! It's not being produced in large scale. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So, anything else in the pipeline that you want us to know about? Maybe in your personal space, or maybe in the school space that you want. To well, in my personal space, you know, I have a company called Equatoria in yeah. Tema. And we have developed quite a lot of drugs out there for tropical diseases. Okay. And we have mosquito sprays, mosquito repellents, and disinfectants. <coughs> Some of them are very useful. They've been developed mainly for Ghana. Okay. Over here at Central, I've tried to set up quite a few research projects. Okay. Some of my students are working on typhoid. The drugs for treatment of typhoid, mm. uh, some of them, like CIPO, they have developed resistance. We have a natural product which is very effective and we are trying to isolate the active ingredient. We've already tested it and it works. Wow. Some of the students have also <coughs> excuse me, prepared a sanitizer from Aquatership, the local Aquatership. Wow. We're trying to okay. cut the cost. Currently, some of them are working to find a plan for snakes. So I've got quite very interesting projects wow. in the labs over here, and I think if you are successful soon, you hear about it because we'll use also. Wow, congratulations. Mm -hmm. All of this, I think we'll come and have a look at, at some lab. of those yeah, things happening in the lab. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. and share. I think there are a few some people that have tried to put in a comment or two. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. one, one of our viewers is called Bright Buff for here. He says, God bless you, Prof. And uh, another viewer is just. It's very happy about what is happening. So that's about it. So, so viewers, those who are just joining us, we are having a chat with uh, Professor Adumako of Heming. Yeah. Uh, he's the dean of the faculty of arts. Hey, sorry, the school. dean of the school of uh -huh. pharmacy in Central University. The dean, the dean of the school of pharmacy in Central University. And we've just spoken about the beginning of the school. Uh, the school of pharmacy has been in session about. Uh, a year and a half now, it came out from the School of Applied Sciences. Now it's a full school in Central University. And by God's grace, it's the largest school of pharmacy in the private university space in Ghana at the moment. We have very well equipped labs. In fact, Prof mentioned that we, are, we have the best uh, pharmacy laboratory in the country at the moment. So we, we are very hopeful that we we'll maintain this title. And we just spoke about the possibilities available for you. If you are interested in reading pharmacy, Central University is a place for you to consider. We just a year ago we mentioned that we also started a farm D with the doctor of pharmacy. And for those who already have B farm, there are programs being rolled out so that they can come on and do the farm D uh, going forward. Prof also mentioned some of the exciting uh, discoveries, recent discovery he and his team have made. And by God's grace, next year, early January, one of their products, the mother cycling, will be on the market. Uh, there are so many other exciting things you've just spoken to us about the students' project that they are working on. So, uh, Prof, a few final words uh, before we wrap up today's session. I want to do, because people have joined us mystery, I want to just go over again, just tell us a few things about the School of Pharmacy and also uh, things that people should consider. Why should they come and read pharmacy in Central University and not in KNUSD or somewhere else? A few, a few of those for us. Well, I think that. I've been here for eight years, building the place very gradually. And I think we have taken Centra <coughs> to a point where we are looking forward to becoming the best pharmacy school in the country. I have other plans, apart from the farm D and the B farm, 
we want to set up an industrial pharmacy program over here where we have the equipment so we can train the students to join um, industries. Right. Uh, we've got a few professors that we are bringing in to help us with our pharmacy and industrial pharmacy programs. We have the lab space and it's uh, very uh, special mm -hmm. and I think that uh, it's a good place for them to come. Most of our students who have graduated have got jobs. I don't see any pharmacists from Central University who have got a job. Wow. That is almost 100%. And they do very well in the professional exams also. Mm. And we have a very friendly atmosphere over here. And the Christian aspect of the education also is uh, part of it. And I think that <clears throat> I've got a lot of ambitious programs that I want to put through. So anybody who wants to learn pharmacy, to use it professionally, they should join us so we can help them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Prof. Viewers, we'll be taking a short break, and then we'll be back in a few minutes to wrap up today's session. So keep watching. We'll be right back. Pharmaceutics, pharmacognosy, pharmacology, and then chemistry. Then we got the analytical laboratories, which are behind me. This is the main chemistry laboratory, which is utilized by the undergraduates for both their regular lab work and also their uh, research work, those who are in the final year. The final year students join the last part of the labs, and then the film books which are located on the side over there. Okay. Behind us, we have got all the equipment. You want to go in there to yes. check the equipment, we'll to which we use, they use for the analysis. Okay. okay. So we have the pH meters. I think this is a mirror that they use to know their uh, natural products. And then this is just a dying of the, it's a UV. And then um, that's the HPLC. And then we have the IR also over there. Okay. So it's a full well equipped lab laboratory. I'm very comfortable with it. Yes. And if you go downstairs, <coughs> all the departments also have furnished the place nicely. Wow. You know, we've got things like dry ice maker and other things which enable us to do more advanced work over here. So I'm very comfortable. Those who really want to study mm. science, this is the right place to be, both for our graduate and the undergraduate work. Right? Okay. Thank you very much. So, Prof, I think we are very grateful for the time you spent with us on Central Life. And viewers, thank you very much for the time you spent. This was just a trip, a little bit of time in the School of Pharmacy. And Prof. Arumako Ohimi has spent the time walking us through and actually bringing us to see some of the things here. We'll have another time in the future, near future, when some of the students who are also working on some projects can tell us what they are doing. So watch us live. We'll be coming back your way very soon with another department or another school in Central University. See you next time. Bye. Bye. He formed my heart.